it. What? Can it go on your butt? Um, I wouldn't. No! I'm sorry. <laughs> I be so sick of you niggas, y'all contradicting I be so bold myself, when you come and fuck me I feel so ordinary, said when you won't round me Treat me like photo, why you wear me out? Why you miss me, tear me out? Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you clicked on my video, I'm forever gracious. I don't care nothing but 50 people watch me. I'm just glad that you clicked on my video. But let's get to the real giggity diggity biggity like. So I have came to a realization that I need to check. And before you get to be like, huh? I won't even confess nothing like that. Let me tell you. I feel like it's absolutely insane to keep showing up to a job that serves you no purpose makes you mad every time you go and you work all them hours just to not see no money so you got to be absolutely insane to keep doing this same lifestyle so i have came to the conclusion that i need to check because clearly something is wrong but now i'm just kidding um so y'all i really feel like life be life is sometimes too like Life be life in. It ain't kicking my tail too bad. Um, a lot of good things have been going on behind the scene. Like, you see my scenery. But next time I'll upload a video, I'll be in a different scenery. Because I have officially moved out of my overpriced place that I was living in. And yes, I know my mirror is broken. Quick disclaimer. So, I left it at my sister's house. But anyway. Yeah, so I feel like that's a good time to be somewhere. And still be living there. And leave without no eviction. Because... Um, a lot of people can't do that. So, I give myself props. I survived. You know, me and God did our big one. Because if it wasn't for him, baby, I probably wouldn't even been here. You feel me? So, um, but yeah, I moved out of my place. I got a new car. Cause my last car was so raggedy, y'all. I could only go to A to B, meaning I could only go to work and back home. And my job was like five minutes away. So, I literally would just drive to work and back. Drive to work and back. Let's talk about the big elephant in the room, how these big jobs that people love to glamorize that most of the time, the people that you show up for are racist. I'm not going to talk about the job that I'm at because I'm still there in a way, but um, let's just let's just talk about it. Let's talk about how they're really racist and they really don't care about you. And a lot of people, even majority of the black people, shop at this store, giving these folks this money, like, thinking it's so glamorous whole time they racist don't even care about the people that shop there um but we're not even going to get too deep into that because that'd be ruffling some people's feathers to talk about racism and the elephant in the room let's just say a lot of people that work there now are not as dark as me the complexion is not even nowhere near as me but anyway so i just got another question do y'all have this one ex that just would not go away I have this one ex that stayed beating my block down. And you guys, it's been three years. But that's how you know you're just that girl. Because I'm pretty sure there's plenty of women that have the same problem. But I never even told y'all this story time about how I had like a trapped in the closet moment or kill on these people. Because that's exactly what it was. And y'all was so scared because he was African. And you know a woman intuition. So I'm sitting in the car with him. And we're just like chilling, reviving, and like... Really, truly, he was supposed to have company. He said he could, but he just didn't want his sister to meet me. I should have known it was the first red flag because if you could have company and, like, your sister wouldn't mind if I came, why you would not bring me over? <clears throat> and that's another thing, too. That's exactly why now I always said I would never mess with a guy that does not have his own place because I'm not about to be playing hide and seek. I'm not about to be hiding to be doing the boom, 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 boom. I'm grown, so we're going to say that over here. Oh. Um, because you don't got your own place. Like, are you insane? So, um, yeah. So, she saw us sitting in the car. And he's like, oh, she can't see us. She can't see us. Yes, she can. Babe, she looked dead at me. And I'm looking dead at her. And we're just making eye contact. So, she pulled off. Plays like she didn't, you know, play like she left the whole time. She didn't even leave. She was still there in the apartment complex. She just drove off. So, we get out. We go in. And um, he was like, let's, let's lay on the couch and, you know, you know, we ain't getting into details. But, um, and I'm like, nah, let's go in the room because some telling me, like, she's going to come back. And, like, if she would have came back and we was in the living room, I wouldn't even have time to do, put my clothes up or nothing. I was just been caught. And you know how embarrassing that would be, like, at my grown age? Well, I was only 19, so I'm 20, 
about to be 25, so I was 19 at the time, so, um, so anyway, yeah, so we go in the room, and, like, you know, he's doing his whatever in, in his own, and I'm just laying there, because I'm like, something's telling me, like, she's gonna come back, she's gonna catch us, and was I right? Yes, so, all I know is, I hear a door open, I hear keys drop. Y'all, my heart went into my behind. I have never been so scared in my life. Like, I don't know. And it's crazy because it's just like, it was crazy. But I was so scared. So, I hopped up. I grabbed my pants, ran to the closet. He, She's calling him. We're going to call him Bodega. I don't know. And she's like, Bodega? Um, and he answered back. And I'm in the closet holding my dang on pants. And y'all, is so embarrassing because um, at the time, this one I had my son. And, well, this is a little bit after my son. And, like, I'm in the closet and I'm holding these dang on maternity underwear. And if you don't know what that is, y'all, y'all didn't look it up. Let me see if I can add a clip in. Now, the underwear really wasn't this big, but y'all, I swear, that's what it felt like. And then that underwear had the audacity to be white. So, yeah, anyway, um, I'm holding my big old underwear in my tights, no pants on, standing in this closet, holding my breath. I'm sweating in places that I didn't even know could sweat. And they're just going on having a conversation. I don't know what they were saying, but I did hear something about girlfriend. So, she, I told you, like I said, she knew, she peeped, she saw. So, while I'm in there holding my dang on breath, hoping she don't come to this closet. And I swear, y'all, she was right there. She literally could have slid the door back and she would have saw me. And if she would have saw me, I would have just been so embarrassed. But y'all, I'm not going to lie to you. It's not even the first time somebody has walked in on me. Um, We're not going to get into that. But, um, yeah, so I'm just in the closet and I'm just holding my breath. I'm scared. And, like, my heart is racing. Like, I swear, I literally just died for a second and came back. You can't tell me nothing. I promise you. Nobody ain't telling me nothing. I died for a second and came back. <sighs> and I'm just thinking to myself, I'm never doing this again. I'm never going to miss a new dude that does not have his own place. I'm not doing none of this stuff. Y'all lying because I did it again. Let's proceed. So, um, eventually, she walks away, go in her room. He comes to me, hand me these keys. And talking about um, drive the car and I'll meet you at the bottom. Sir, why well, stood in this closet for a whole good minute before I left? He came back to me and said, come on. Are you the same? She could have came out here and chopped my goddamn head off. She could have did anything she wanted and she would have got away with it because it was her house. I'm thinking logically. Like, I'm thinking, like, this is life or death. I don't care what you talk about. Like, I could die. I don't give a damn. But y'all, I chucked it up. And I grabbed them keys and I ran out the house. Not like literally ran because she would have hurt me. But I sped walk. Like, I put my dang. And I had Crocs too. I put them Crocs in sports mode. And I sped walk up out of there. Because, uh-uh. And y'all, what's, what's even more embarrassing, I literally left those granny panty uh, maternity underwear in the closet. And when I came back, I saw the underwear. I was just like, this is embarrassing. And it's literally like he didn't even use his closet because why I come back and they're still in there? I was so embarrassed by them dang underwear, y'all. But really, I was not planning on doing anything. So I didn't really care. And like, they was clean. Like, there was the only clean pure underwear I had at that time. Because I was washing everything else. And I put a big old maternity underwear over there. She didn't catch me, y'all. But she definitely knew I was in there. And then she, it was two phones on the ground. I left my phone on the ground. And I left my um, shoes on the ground at the time. And I'm just like, I know that you know that somebody is in here. Because they, be, they used to pay attention to him. Like, I remember when we got a hotel one time. And, like, she was literally calling him. Like, where are you? Where are you? And, like, it was, like, the same. But um, I don't know how much, too much about their religion and what they have. I just know the mom was on 10 all the time. Like, one time she literally came over and stayed at night and slept on his floor. Now, I feel like that's a little bit insane. Um, your son is 19. So, how big of you? Like, how, how, you know, 
I mean, I get being a mother and all, but I would never as a mother. But that's that's different because I don't know their religion, so I'm not even going to judge. I'm talking about me, though. At, at me, I'm talking about me. I would never. But now, that's my little story time on this. It's really kind of funny now that I think about it. But ladies, don't mess with a man that don't got his own place. Because if you got to hide the hunch, you should not be hunching. Just straight, point blank, period. But anyway, now thanks for listening to my TED Talk. Enjoy the video. First of all, I don't know who this bitch Lizzie thinks she is, but she not putting her hands on my motherfucking sister. <laughs> First of all, we big on Capital P, bitch. Big, 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 big. Yeah. We be the big chuck. Yep. So it's whatever she wants. <laughs> <laughs> so it's whatever she owns. We own the other. Damn. Hmm. My turn. But they can't team. Damn. Hmm. My turn. It's going to ride the baddest around this bitch. Okay. Why do, why am I hearing Kendallin and Beth and Tamat? They go on the quickest. Tag team me. Right. I don't need no motherfucking help. I stand 10 times by myself. Do, do. What they talking about? Fuck them hoes. I'm finna go on Zeus for real. <laughs> we at the Wally World. Excuse me. Can you tell me where anti-ice cream is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Can that go on your butt? Say what? Can it go on your butt? Um, I wouldn't. That probably. Is there one that's safe to do that? Um, that probably would be. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. What happened? It's so pretty in here. I don't remember it being this pretty. The skating? Yeah. Are you talking about the skating? No. <laughs> oh, the ribs. Yeah, the ribs. <laughs> Lizzie, say hi. Lizzie, you look good. Y'all look good. Y'all been so pretty. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, no, I won't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I miss my stuff. Yes, if y'all want to. So many ways to do it. I want to my love. Now you are one to retire with my love. See what you need, Cook, you.